to praise someone else, it's a really important idea. To say that's an incredible idea, an incredible insight that you have, to tell a child who studied really hard for a test, that you, we're so proud of you for studying so hard, for putting in all the effort. It's important and it's a great thing to do. It provides a positive environment. If you're in the office, it creates a positive environment amongst your colleagues. If you're at home with your family, it's important to praise. It creates a positive environment within the family, within the home, and it's contagious. But praise could often also cause problems. If you praise a little bit too much, if you say a little bit too much, when it's not really genuine, so a person will think, they're not really praising me, and they'll make themselves feel down, feel sad about the fact that they're not being praised properly, that they don't really, the other person doesn't really appreciate what they're doing, and so they're going above and beyond when it comes to praising. Sometimes a person doesn't praise enough, and when they don't praise enough, they feel underappreciated. How come you didn't recognize what I was doing? So praise is important, but at the same time, it could cause hurt and bad feelings. I want to share a very simple idea from the Parsha. From this week's Torah portion, Parsha's Noah. We are introduced to Noah in the very beginning of the Torah portion. It says, Ela told us Noah. These are the offspring of Noah. This is who, all, who Noah is, what he represents. Noah ish tzaddik, tamim haya Noah, Noah was a righteous man. Tamim, perfect, wholesome, complete. He wasn't just righteous, but he was also complete and whole. However, later on, a few psukim later, a few verses later in the Parsha, God, Hashem, is talking to Noah, and he tells Noah, and I quote, Ki ra'isi tzadik bador hazeh. I see you as a tzadik, as somebody who is righteous. And he leaves out that one word, tamin. He leaves out the one word of wholesome, complete. You are not just righteous, but you are complete, you have the whole package, you are a God-fearing person. He leaves that out, and Rashi, our classic commentator, asks why? If it doesn't really represent who Noah is, if he's missing something, why doesn't God talk to Noah and say, give the full praise? Say that he is Sadiq Tamim, that he is righteous, but also wholesome, complete, a God-fearing person. And Rashi gives a very simple answer. And Rashi explains that when God is talking to Noah, he has to be careful in terms of how we praise. We can't give everything over. If we give everything over when we praise, so then a person might come to think that they're, they think full of themselves. They think, it's all about me. Look at how much praise I am receiving. And so God is really teaching us a lesson about how to praise. We need to praise, we need to acknowledge, and to recognize another person, let them appreciate the fact. Show, we have to show our appreciation, but at the same time, we have to know how to do it in the right and proper way. On behalf of Shari Tzedek, after the high holidays, we really we received a lot of feedback, and a lot of positive feedback, and a lot of praise. And we thank you for that. We are happy, and we appreciate the fact that you recognize all of the efforts that we have done, everything that we have done to make sure that we could have as normal as possible of a high holiday service during Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And when you recognize that, and we, and you give us the feedback, and you show, and you praise us, we are happy and enjoy the fact that we are serving you. I think we could take one message from Hashem, from God, the halakta bedrachav. We have to walk in the ways of God. Imagine if we took the time out to think, to spend maybe a moment to say, once a week, or once a day, I will try to go out of my way and praise one person. Acknowledge what somebody else is doing to create a positive culture, not a negative culture. It's very easy to create that negative culture. But to create a positive culture, one praise a day, one praise a week, and then it spreads, it's contagious. And together, we'll praise each other and create a more positive environment. Shabbat Shalom.